From the Tribune News Network, this is News Break. I'm Kirk Smith. Wednesday's top stories as the free national movement deals with another setback. There's some positive news on the coronavirus vaccine and when it will be in country. Health Minister Wells says it could be here by the end of the week. It is good news. What would make it even better news is when the vaccine lands that the Bahamian people avail themselves of it to the maximum possible use. We want the Bahamian people vaccinated because we want our economy open. We want the Bahamian people safe. The rollout could start as early as next week. Could start. Meantime, the numbers remain steady. Health officials reporting just six cases on Monday, all in the capital. 14 persons in hospital, still one in the IC. And that Cat Key Club, where 16 cases were confirmed recently, is now on a self-imposed lockdown designed to control the situation there. A lockdown of a different kind ordered by Prime Minister Menes. He shut the Ministry of Sports and Culture. A statement from the office of the Prime Minister says the move was made after certain matters were brought to his attention and are being investigated. An internal audit is taking place at the ministry. No checks or contracts for now. The move has prompted the resignation of Minister Lanisha Rowe. She sent in her resignation letter yesterday and the Prime Minister accepted it. No comment from the now former minister. The Tribune reporting that... She intends to finish her term as MP, but it's unlikely that she'll be renominated by the party for the next elections. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. There's more work for the police to do on the murder front. Another man shot and killed here in the Capitol, and a woman dies in hospital following a stabbing incident over the weekend. The latest shooting here in the Capitol left a man dead and a woman in hospital. It happened on Finlayson Street just hours after a double shooting on John Road left a man dead and another man in hospital. The woman who died in hospital was stabbed during an argument on West Bay Street. Her identity hasn't been released as yet. Murder total for the year is now 20. And police involved in another fatal shooting incident, this one in the East Street area last night. They say a car ran through a police corona curfew checkpoint and a high-speed chase ensued. When the car finally stopped, police say a man came out of that car with a weapon and they shot him. The coroner has been called in. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No major systems in the area now. Mostly sunny, highs from the upper 70s to low 80s, 79 at Freeport, 81 in the capital, 83 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories, winds 5 to 10 knots, the seas 1 to 3 feet. High tide now, the next low around noon. Partly cloudy tonight, lows from the upper 60s to mid-70s. For complete weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is News Break from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Wednesday's world news headlines with more than a half million persons now dead from the coronavirus. The U.S. vaccination rollout continues in earnest. Companies are speeding up production and more sites are being opened. Cases and hospitalizations continue to fall in the U.S. and around the world where vaccinations are now in high gear, including the first shots in Asian countries. Health officials optimistic that the virus will be under better control worldwide by the middle of the year. Golf great Tiger Woods is in hospital in California in the U.S. after being involved in a car accident. He suffered serious leg injuries, which could threaten the rest of his career. Tribune's gas tracker prices, middle of the week, Shell 437, SO439, $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section, just 11 points for Buddy Hill last night. Fort Sacramento against the Brooklyn Nets in Brooklyn. 
And the Kings lost again. They're now 12-19 and 19 on the season. They're headed in the wrong direction. Get the latest NBA updates in the Tribune Sports Wednesday. And, of course, details of the Tiger Woods situation. There's a college basketball update. And more details and reaction to the Lanisha Road resignation in the sports section. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.